How would you like it if you could start your own marketing agency and make up to 10K a month by selling your social media services? Now, what if I told you that there is an app that makes that super easy, basically in a snap that you can create content for 365 days? Uh, I'm super excited about this one and uh, that's also why I'm here with Neil. So uh, Neil, awesome to have you here, man. Hey Tim, always good to be here. Absolutely. So uh, yeah, if you're wondering who's Neil, Neil, Neil is the creator of uh, this product. It's called Franken, Franken AI, right? Franken yeah, AI. we actually, it's funny. We, we named this product because we thought we had created the, the perfect Franken, Frankenstein's monster. So we had to <laughs> call it that just, just to, to stick to that. So you, you basically created a monster. <laughs> yeah, we have. I mean, it, it works really good. As you'll see it, it's basically for marketing. It's, it's a monster. It does so yeah. many cool things. I'm, I'm super impressed, Neil. Uh, I, from, from what I've seen so far, I'm super impressed. And uh, I think it's, it's awesome to talk about this product. So tell, tell us a little bit more. What, what is Frank and AI and what does it do? Yeah, so the thing is, we see a lot of businesses still, you know, moving online over the last few years, they have established online. But what they struggle with, for the most part, is getting the word out, you know, being present everywhere all at once. Um, so omnipresence is a very important thing, which means you have to be visible in many different places all the time. That's how your your target audience mm -hmm. remembers you. They don't just click on an ad and buy anymore. They have to see you in all the different places yeah. where they go to. The more they see you, the more they believe that, uh, that, 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 that they want to buy from you. So we created something that could help our customers, a lot of them are agency owners, to go out there and offer this, this let's call it omnipresence as a service mm -hmm. to their, their clients. So they could basically go out there and help them be visible everywhere all the time. Nice. So that's that's the main thing we're trying to solve with this. Okay, nice. That's even more than I thought because I I was thinking about okay, you can create content for 365 days, but creating that omnipresence is is killer because you know uh, what people need to know is there are eight moments that people need to get in touch with you before they purchase, right? So yeah, this will definitely help them to see you everywhere. So. What is Frank and AI? What, what does this uh, software do? Because it's a software platform, right? Yeah, no, it is exactly. So initially, when we were looking at this, you know, we have a lot of different products and services that we sell as well. And the, the challenge I find is that I get to divide it into lots of different things. I mean, between family, between work and, you know, having my hobbies, I just don't have enough time to talk about my business. So we wanted to create something that could represent me as a business owner and just go out there and spread the message um, everywhere, all the time for the entire year. So we created the software that could basically, you know, you feed in some very simple details, as mm -hmm. I'll show you in a few minutes, and it creates all the content for you and automatically publishes it, uh, publishes it, it as well in certain okay. places. But if we can't publish it directly, we give you that content so you can just go and copy paste it. And like I said, the key driver here is to be everywhere, all at once and for the next 365 days. That's what Frank and AI does. Nice, nice. So uh, shall we dive into it and show uh, the people a demo of the software? Yeah, let's do yeah. that. Let's do okay. that. So right here, as you can see, this is our dashboard and mm -hmm. uh, it contains details of all the tasks that are overdue, things I'm supposed to do today and things I should be doing in the future. But using it is very, very simple. You come in, you pick a new plan. Say whatever your business is, you could either, uh, let's call this, you know, we'll call this Tim's demo. And you could give a bit of description about your business or mm -hmm. your client's business. You could link to the website. You could record an audio as well. You could upload an audio. Or you could just upload a PDF or a document or a text file. So whatever source you choose, we go out there and extract that information so that nice. we can understand the business. So there's mm -hmm. multiple entry points for you. So I'm going to choose one of my... Our product. I'm going to choose contentgorilla.co. Actually, in this case, I'm going to choose, uh, let me try Melvia. I think that'd mm -hmm. be a really good example. And just a website. I'm not giving anything else at this point. Mm -hmm. You don't have to give anything else. But then you can come in and choose languages. So I'll choose English, but you can choose French, Spanish, Italian, multiple different languages as you want, even Finnish, nice. which is, you know, very difficult languages. So there. You, can you also um, pick multiple or one at a time? Um, ideally, course, one at a time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because, because you create one campaign, of course, for one specific business. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, but hey, it's a pretty good idea. I'll talk to my developer and see what we can do about <laughs> that too. Because I know some businesses operate in multiple different markets. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what we could do. 
Um, and then you pick a starting date as to when you want to start your campaign. So, you know, let's say I want to start it on Tuesday, the 21st, then you choose platforms. What platforms do you want the content to be created for? So Facebook, Twitter, let's say I want some LinkedIn content as well. I want some ads. I want a blog article. I want some content for Telegram, Instagram. So you can choose multiple different platforms nice. that again, depending on the kind of license that you have and the objectives uh, is actually really, really important. So when you create content, you need to have a, an objective behind it. Mm -hmm. Why is it that you're creating that content? So yeah. for example, if you want sales, then you can choose, uh, you know, this one. So mm -hmm. I want to achieve a certain level of sales. If you want lead generation, you could say, I want to generate qualified leads. So okay. if you choose multiple objectives, the content that gets created is to keep in line with your intention yeah. mm -hmm. with that content. And then you choose so frequency. You, so you could so basically have multiple objectives to, to, to create content for multiple objectives. Exactly. And it just kind of runs through it. So one day it might create content for sales generation, one day lead generation. Mm -hmm. And all these objectives also have some weightage. So AI knows already... Um, you know, maybe create a few lead pieces of content, then create a sales content. Mm. So it okay. takes your It has the logic as well. Yeah, yeah, it's built in. It's built nice. in. And then you can choose, I want to, you know, publish on weekend too, or you can say not. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also choose to create images automatically, and then also automatic extended task details. So it will actually go ahead and create that content for you as well. Okay. Like this is it. This is all this is you it. need to do. <laughs> This is, this is all you need to do like this. Again, I, whenever I show these demos and when software is kind of simple to use, I, I tell people that that's it. Like you're mm. going to use it and you're going to be like, that's it. I don't have to do nice. anything else anymore. You don't. Okay, you cool. You genuinely do not. And Neil, so, by the way, uh, when you choose the sources, is it that you pick one source like a website or can you also choose multiple sources at the same time? Just one source because, okay. uh, you know, we need to have clarity on what source you're going to use. So, mm -hmm. but, but of course, if you even choose a document, you can provide some additional information mm -hmm. alongside that yeah. uh, for context. So yeah. that's completely okay. okay. So let's go back to that. And uh, as you'll see now, we've got this, these tasks listed out from 22nd all the way down to 31st uh, of May. And what happens is that as you get closer to the, these dates, as mm -hmm. you start checking off these tasks, more of them will automatically appear. Oh, wow. So we don't generate all 365 immediately. That's kind mm -hmm. of wasteful and that will overwhelm you. But as you go through this, as you tick each day, like I've done, I've done this, I've done this, it mm -hmm. will automatically create additional tasks for you. And nice. the cool thing is that you can actually view them in calendar mode as well. So you can okay. see, you know, you get a good visual as to what things you need mm -hmm. to do. And then we have automation. So you can automatically post them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Telegram, Discord, and more to be added as we are doing these. And then here's the best part. When you pick a task, let's say this mm -hmm. is a Facebook post. Let's check this out. This will actually give you the content that you need to post mm -hmm. as well. Nice. So based on the website, it's created content for you. You can regenerate it by clicking this button if you'd like. But based on this, you can just copy and paste this. Or of course, if you have built-in integration, it yeah. will automatically post it for you. But if you want to publish it now, you can just click that button and publish it now. Okay, so, so if, you have, if you have your Facebook page connected, you can push it automatically without doing lifting a single finger. Exactly, nice. exactly that. So Facebook, Twitter, Discord, Instagram, as I was showing, mm -hmm. it will automatically take care of that. And it does the images too, so you can see the images are picked as well. By default, it will pick an image if you don't have time to come and select a different mm -hmm. one. But otherwise, you can pick and choose an image or you can upload your own as well. Nice. I mean, look, the key thing we're trying to do here is is that you know hiring a marketing department in-house is quite expensive it's quite mm -hmm. a difficult thing to do so we're giving you this so you don't need a marketing department you don't need a cmo you don't need a content strategist you don't need a writer a designer you can just do this and come in and automatically have 365 days of content all laid out for you and nice. again like i said as you get closer to the date more content starts to appear as you're doing these tasks and that way you're able to be in multiple places all mm -hmm. the time Nice. Is it, is it, by the way, possible to go further if you like to? So right now it's about a week or two weeks. Is, is it possible to say, I want to have content for a month right now? Yep, it is. So if you are a bit impatient, like I sometimes get as well, <laughs> uh, you can just come in and say, hey, I want to generate more tasks for this. So mm -hmm. you can pick the date. So the okay. date could be yeah. 31st. And then, yeah, I mean, same thing. You can provide more context this time. Like, hey, now we're running a special promotion for something. Let's mm -hmm. add that information too. And then same thing, just click that button and it will generate more tasks for you. Nice, nice. And basically you create different kind of campaigns. So when you go to the overview, 
you will have the different clients. For example, where can you see the different clients where you're working with? Yeah, it's a very good question. So there's a couple of ways of doing that. One is via plans. So in plans, you will see all the oh, yeah. different clients' businesses that you have. And yeah, you're right. Actually, you can have the same client's business running in parallel. So you know you can have two campaigns running for the same client mm -hmm. if that's what you want. But that's what you would do from here. Alternatively, we also have the agency license built in with, I believe, about 100 seats. So okay. you can actually create like a client sub account and operate that as well if you want. Okay. If you don't want to operate a client's um, you know, content and websites from your main core account, mm -hmm. you can use the agency license depending on if you have it or not. Okay. And then just have each client in silo. Nice, nice. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I think it's, it's super useful software and it will solve uh, a lot of problems and save a lot of time. Um, you're going to do a training as well, right? Um, when is it coming? Tuesday, if I, Wednesday, what's the day? Yes, Wednesday, 22nd at 10 a.m. Eastern, we're going to do a more extended demo and kind of explain more things about how to go out there and then sell it to mm -hmm. other people as a service. So that's happening on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Okay, well, nice. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Neil, uh, about Frank and AI? Yeah, a couple of things as well. Uh, one, you also have the option to export these tasks as CSV if you want. So I know some people, like we use Asana, some people use ClickUp yeah. or other management tools. You can export these tasks and then import them into your project management tool. Oh, so really? If you want to operate, yeah, yeah, you can do that. So That's if you nice. want to operate everything, you know, from what you're already used to, you can just click a button, export the tasks out, and then import them into your. And will it also task. create the content in Asana? So what you just saw, or or the task only, and you can click through. How does it work? So it does create the content for you as well. Yeah. Like it gives you. You can't see in my my file right now, but it gives mm -hmm. you a CSV file that has a content in there too. So okay. you can just import everything in there. Nice, nice. That's well, easy. It, it sounds pretty awesome, Neil. <laughs> I'm looking forward yeah. to, to it. Um, like I said, is there anything else? So a CSV, is there anything else you say? One more thing. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you don't have a project management tool, if you don't want to use one, you get the team license as well. So okay. you can see on my screen soon. But okay, with this, you'd show. be able to like add up to five team members in your account. So if okay. you want to just keep everything in the one roof, then you can just do that with Frank and AI. Awesome. Awesome. Sounds good. So coming Wednesday, guys, if you're interested in getting access to Frank and AI, early access, uh, if you want to see what's possible with Frank and AI, I mean, it, this was a, a rush through interview, quickly showing the software, etc. I'm also going to do my review in a few days. Uh, but just, you know, I always like to introduce the creator of a software. So you see, hey, who's behind this software? Uh, you know, if you want to join a webinar upfront, probably pay the best price. A lot of times, best pricing is also during the webinar. So if you want to get early access, if you want to get the best price, uh, there are copies given away, if I'm correctly new, if they show up on the webinar. They will so, be. We're giving away three uh, front of copies, yeah. If you want to make a chance to win a free copy, make sure you'll be there. Uh, there is a link in the description here, or if you're on the page, if I'm sending this email directly to you, uh, you can register on this page. Make sure to register, uh, be there on time, because you can also ask any questions you have during the webinar, just like I'm asking Neil now. You can ask the questions during the webinar so you get answers immediately. And uh, yeah, Neil, thank you so much for uh, for explaining everything. For uh for coming up in this show, <laughs> and yeah, uh, happy to do that. I mean, it's it's a really cool platform, and I, I genuinely hope that people can transform their business by marketing it using Frank and AI. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's a very very easy service to sell as well to other businesses. And if you have one platform that have it all to manage it all, I think it's pretty awesome. I'm I'm super excited uh, as I've seen this. I mean, I see a lot of products coming by. Some products I don't even promote any any longer because, hey, it's the same product again. We have another, well, I don't have to tell you that. I think everyone who, who's watching also knows that, know, knows about that. So uh, this is a brand new product, something like you've never seen before. So uh, make sure to uh, join during the call and uh, looking forward to see you there, guys. Neil, thank you so much. All the best. Thank you. And yeah. uh, cheers, guys. Cheers.